In this short video, we're going to talk about how to determine where a quadratic is increasing or decreasing. We're going to go through four examples together. So see if you can follow these examples. See if you can try some of them on your own. Let's look at the first example. What exactly does it mean if the function is increasing or decreasing? Well, what you want to think about is as you're moving along the x-axis from left to right, so as x is increasing, what is happening to the y values? Are the y values going up or are they going down? So notice as I'm going to the right, you can see that this graph is going down, 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 down. At this point here, which is the vertex, it starts to then change direction and it's going up, 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 up. Now here's where students sometimes make a little bit of a mistake. They say, well Mario, isn't it decreasing here? I can see it's going down. But you wanna think about working from left to right. So as X increases, what's happening to the Y values? Think of the Y value as like the height, right? So the height is actually going down, it's decreasing, right? And over here now it's increasing. But you have to think about as you're moving from left to right on the graph. So a key thing to focus on is where is that vertex? Now this vertex right here is at X equals zero. So that's gonna be like our dividing line. Remember this is called the axis of symmetry. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say, when x is less than zero, so this is a less than, think of it as like L tilted, or you can think of it as an arrow pointing to the left. So when we're to the left of zero, the y values as I go from left to right, they're decreasing, they're going down. So we're gonna say uh, f of x is decreasing. Or I could just draw maybe a down arrow just to note that. Now as x is greater than zero, okay, meaning as we're going to the right here, you can see that the y values are increasing. So I'm gonna say the function f of x is increasing, or going up. So let's take a look at another example. Let's see if we can understand this better. So say for example number two. Now this one's a little bit different because notice that the parabola or the quadratic is facing downward and our vertex is right here at the point two comma four. Now I wanna to try to point out some of the mistakes that students make so that you don't make those same mistakes. And here's where students go wrong. They say, well, it looks like the graph is increasing up to four, and then it's decreasing after that. But you don't wanna think about what the y values are. You wanna think about for what x values are the y values increasing or decreasing. So for what x values? So when we think about x, we're thinking about left and right. Now again, focus in on that vertex. You can even look at this line of symmetry that divides the parabola in half. That's right here at x equals two, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say when x is less than two, okay, meaning to the left of two, what's happening? Well, again, we wanna think about moving from left to right, okay, but we're still talking about this half of the graph to the left of two. But as I'm moving from left to right, what's happening to the y values? They're going up, okay? Now, sometimes students like to think about the slope. Now, this is not exactly like um, a straight line, obviously, you can see it's curved. But you know what you learned about slope. You said if it was going up to the right, that's a positive slope, it's increasing, right? If it's going down to the right, that's a negative slope, it's decreasing. Again, not a straight line, but you can kind of see that as the x values are increasing, meaning as I'm going to the right with x, the y values are going up. So I'm gonna say when x is less than two, uh, the function is increasing, okay? Now when x is greater than two, meaning when I'm to the right of two, Again, as x is increasing, the y values are decreasing. So I'm just gonna abbreviate decreasing. So again, don't look at the y value, look at the x values. For what x values are the y values increasing or decreasing? And you always wanna think about going from left to right. So let me erase the whiteboard. Let's do two more examples. See if you can do these ones on your own first, and then we'll go through them together. Okay, see if you can do number three. Where is the function increasing? Where is the function decreasing? Well, when I take a look at this graph, remember the key point is this vertex right here. And this point we're at negative one, negative one. So let's just mark that there. But mainly what I like to do is look at the axis of symmetry. That's this vertical line that goes right through the vertex. That's the line x equals uh, negative one. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna think of that as a dividing line where we're to the left of that x value, not the y value, these just happen to be the same in this particular problem, but focus on the x value. When x is less than negative one, that means when we're on this part of the graph here, again, remember, as you're working from left to right, what happens to the y values? They're decreasing. So we're gonna say f of x, which represents our y values, are decreasing, 
or I'm just going to draw a down arrow. Now when x is greater than negative 1, okay, so when we're to the right of this axis of symmetry, this part of the graph, again, as we're moving from left to right, what's happening to the y values? Those y values now are increasing. So again, you don't want to think about reading it right to left or focusing on the y values or thinking about where it's above the x-axis or below the x-axis. That's a different problem altogether. Sometimes they'll say where is f of x greater than zero or f of x less than zero. But here we're talking about more of like where the graph is uh, increasing or decreasing. We're thinking more about not quite the slope because this isn't really like a straight line, but it's basically like where are the y values decreasing as we move from left to right or increasing as we move from left to right. So let's take a look at number four now. Now, oh, a quick uh, note here, if you wanna make a little hack or, or cheat or just a way to check your work, when the parabola is opening up like this, it's always gonna decrease and then increase. Okay, did you catch that? So whenever it's opening up like this, the A value is positive or it's, you're graphing it's like this, it's always gonna decrease and then increase. It's just a matter of where does that happen? At this dividing line right here, okay, the axis of symmetry. For number four, this one's opening down Okay, and notice that vertex right here at four comma zero, that's where it's changing, right? That's where the direction is changing. So let's take a look at this uh, graph here. I'm gonna say when x is less than four, so when we're to the left of this axis of symmetry, this part of the graph right here, again, as we're moving from left to right in the x direction, what happens to the y values? They're going up. So we're gonna say f of x, or the y values, are increasing, okay? Now, when I'm on this side of the graph, okay, when x is greater than 4, I'm going to say f of x is, okay, again, we're moving from left to right. The y values are going down. The f of x is decreasing. And you got it. Now, notice on this one, when it opens down, it's always going to increase and then decrease. It's just a matter of where, okay, that's going to be where the axis of symmetry is. So increase, then decrease if it's opening down, if it's opening up decrease then increase. So if you want to memorize that, you can. I always like to just think, you know, as I'm moving from left to right, what's happening? I'm going up, so that's increasing. I'm going down, that's decreasing. When you're thinking about where does it increase or decrease, don't think about the y values or the height. Don't say, oh, it increases up to zero. That's talking about the y values. We're saying, oh, for what x values are the y values increasing or decreasing? Oh, when I'm on this side of the graph, okay, when x is less than four, the y values are increasing as they move from left to right. Okay, where are the values decreasing? Oh, when x is greater than 4, as I move from left to right, oh, the y values are decreasing. So great job if you're able to follow these videos. If you have questions about it, put it, uh, a comment in the link, uh, the description below or in the, the comments below, and uh, we'll see if we can get those questions answered. I know this can be a challenging uh, topic for students. If you want to learn more about graphing parabolas in general, whether it's in the vertex form, intercept form, etc., I'll put a video I did right there talking about how to graph parabolas of all types. Follow me there. We'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.